Me and Connie did it. We did the impossible. We conquered the Magic Kingdom, we slayed the dragon, we rescued the princess, we won the marathon, we won the Oscar in comparison. That's what we just done right now. We just took a shower each in Hotel Carter and lived to talk about it. So far, I mean. And the shower was amazing. It was nice. So weird. <laughs> Although, you know, I'm, I'm saying that now, there might be something growing on my foot later, but, you know, so far it's good. Here's one for you movie buffs. Tell me what this movie is. It looks so old and rubbish that I could probably post the whole thing on YouTube anyway, but it's got Kurt Russell in it, there's cars and stuff, and it just looks really bad. And I want to see it one day. So, yeah. You let me know. Answer on the postcard, please. So we got some food, we come to uh, Central Park to eat it, and we're gonna probably find another Ghostbusters location. So, let's have a look. That building's very high. Wow, some great buildings here. Yeah. So chrome. There's a lot of hot dog vendors here. Yeah, we, we didn't have to buy food before we came here. Yeah. <laughs> Connie just said, it looks like the Daily Planet. I said, it's not. And she went, I know. <laughs> so this is it? Yeah. Around here somewhere? Uh, this is where uh, Lewis Tully, aka Rick Moranis, ran. Uh, after he first was changed into the demon dog uh, around here somewhere and he has that kind of com just flew in your face almost. <laughs> and he had the uh, conversation with the horse probably the horse is probably like right there crepes. somewhere they have, they have crepes they have crepes let's get a crepe then no, I, I want to eat this okay we'll eat this cold. first okay well yeah so it's another cool little uh, and then he ran off in this direction, knocking over a bin in his in his wake. You will perish in flame! You will not be able to make it! What an asshole. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there was a scene from Taxi Driver filmed here as well, so either way, it's just a pretty cool place, some nice buildings, and uh, yeah, Columbus Circle, pretty cool. Skyscraper. Huh? None of these were here then, probably. Maybe not. I mean, I don't know. That's the Trump International yeah. Hotel and Tower, so it well it could have been there in the 80s to be up to be fair. But yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Finish filming so yeah, we're gonna eat our food now. Connie got her a Philly cheesesteak. Is that what it was? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she got that from an actual deli kind of place, and I just bought a lunchable pack from uh, the pharmacy. So I'll show you that when we get it out. So. I've seen this Philly cheesesteak in a lot of um, in a lot of diners, and I really, <laughs> really wanted to get it. And today I did. So. And it's a really nice day. It's still as cold and windy as it was. Well, maybe not as windy, but the sun's out. So, and it's clear skies. So, it's quite a nice day. How's the cheesesteak? I haven't tasted the cheese yet. If you've seen Starbucks, let me know because I need coffee. Of course you need coffee. This is what I got. It's a Lunchables kind of pack. We have these in the UK, uh, although they're about, I don't know, maybe maybe this size. And they have these. But it's got like a little butterfinger in there. It's got a drink as well, which you don't get in the UK packs. Um, so yeah, I look forward to having I like the I like this ham, it's not great, but you know, with the crackers and cheese. Look at it. Action shot. You got the cheese yet? Yeah. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. 
Yeah. Let me smell it. You're not gonna like the smell. I wanna smell it. It smells okay, it smells a bit like a pizza. Yeah. And I got some Evian water. Here it is out the pack. Got the little drink, wild cherry, so that should be nice. Okay, so it was really good. The crackers were actually they're like Ritz crackers. They got like a bit of salt on them, which makes it so much nicer. There's not as many pieces of ham and uh, cheese as in the UK boxes, even though it looks bigger. But um, yeah, three three bites. So good. Now we also have a little butterfinger in here. Remember when the Simpsons used to be like endorsing this? Now those commercials with Bart Simpson. Nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger. Wait, boy! Your hour's not up yet! Sorry, man. But nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger. Oh. That's not how I expected it. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I'm trying to get the stuff. Yeah, that's... I don't think I like butterfingers. There you go. <laughs> and finally, very quickly, try the drink. The wild cherry. Connie's very cold. I am freezing. I need coffee now. But you need coffee now. That was just... Oh! That was a nice aftertaste. <laughs> A bit disappointing, but yeah, nice cherry juice, nothing special. So that was our breakfast slash lunch. And we were thinking about um, maybe we get renting a bike. There's enough people asking us if we want to. Yes, we're going to Okay, thanks. No, we're okay, thank you. No, we're okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're okay, thanks. But I think Connie's too cold to go on a bike ride, so. We'd have to go very fast. We'd have to go very fast. Um, so I don't know what we're or I'd have to be in like a heavy, like a low gear or something. I don't know what we're going to do next, but I think we're going on a, another, another search for Connie for a Starbucks, so let's do it. We never really need to search for a Starbucks, you know, because you're always around, but I can't see any here, so... Bike! We're sure we don't want a bike, we're good, man. Bike, 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 bike! This guy just badgering people. You want a bike? You want a bike? I thought he said that you wanted bites. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, trying to book us a uh, ticket to the Empire State Building. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so we're at the Empire State Building now, or outside of it at least. Welcome to the Empire State Building.
tickets online kind of so we'll see what happens with that it's not as crowded as we thought it would be <laughs> no. well famous last words it says these kiosks where you kind of pick up your online ticket you're gonna try that now I was looking through the camera, not through the My ears actually popped a little going up that fast. 80 floors. I think Connie's did too.
the feet are going down to the left. This is the steer. Oh, that was a rip. That was like seven pulls. <laughs> Tom Hanks took the elevator up. <laughs> <laughs> so did Mike Ryan. Ready? Yeah. Okay. And now the challenge of finding an actual spot to stand in. Yes. <laughs> it's packed. Amazing view. I don't know if you heard Connie, but perfect day to, to go up here as well. Yeah, it's almost no clouds. See for so long. It's really flat here, isn't it? Yeah. I was trying to find um, the spot where Arnold Schwarzenegger was in Last Action Hero and I did save a screenshot of it on my laptop and I was supposed to put it to my phone but I guess I just didn't put it on the phone so I can't find out which spot it is which is a shame but there you go doesn't really matter I suppose but one of my favorite movies ever Last Action Hero was a small scene was shot up here it's pretty cool I say a lot pretty cool I wonder what, when I started saying that or why I started saying that who knows amazingly, awesomely, it's amazingly fully cool. awesomely fully cool Cold side where the sun isn't <laughs> shining. <laughs> See the shadow of the building there.
a lot of people. Pretty cool, We've got the skyline behind us, we got some cool pictures and stuff. And it's a really nice day, which is probably the best part. Is that uh, we literally can see for miles around. I think I already mentioned that, but yeah. Great view. See all the, you know, 
the yellow cabs on the streets and stuff like that. Really cool. Usually I'm really kind of scared of heights or queasy of them, I should say. The only kind of similar thing I've been up like this is um, probably the Eiffel Tower. And we didn't go all the way up there. That was when I was about 11. But it really oh, it freaked me out. <laughs> Although when you go up the Eiffel Tower, it's like a lot more exposed when you go up on the, the, the lift. And we went up to the second level, which is kind of like the middle level. Although it's a lot further up to the top. But just looking up at the top from the middle made me feel like I was going to fall over. I was so kind of unsteady. And... This isn't too bad. I mean, when we first got here, Times Square, my legs were getting a bit <laughs> weak looking at all the buildings, but I guess I've kind of become acclimatized to it. And uh, Just so high up, it's just like, it's just kind of cool. So, yeah. I'm glad I wasn't kind of shaky or nervous about being up here. That's cool. No, not that cold. It's, it's, it's quite windy at times, but uh, not too bad. Worth it, do you reckon? I can't believe that this is only the third day. It's not even halfway done. With yeah, we And we still haven't been to WrestleMania. I know. <laughs> there is so much more left to do. and. So, you know, um, worth it, do you reckon, to come up here? Yeah. Though, so, I wish it was warmer so that I'd feel, feel more comfortable staying up here. Yeah. Already I'm looking forward to finding like some kind of cafe and just sitting down. <laughs> yeah. Though... So, I don't think I need another coffee right now, but it would be nice to just sit down, you know? Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's quite, it's quite warm knows? when it's Maybe not... Maybe there's a cinnamon around here. When it's not windy, it's quite warm. Yeah, yeah, like feeling the sun and stuff is really nice. It's... The view is amazing. That was like nothing what I imagined for some reason. I was imagining buildings close to here, yeah. you know, being in the way and stuff, but it's just flat and you can see everything. It actually... Um, the view reminds me actually of being at the Eiffel Tower and just being amazed at how far you can see and how like, yeah. You can almost see that the, that the world is round. You can almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> so many bridges and buildings and streets and people and cars and. So that's south, and meaning further down should be uh, Philadelphia and stuff. I guess so, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. And then New Jersey, New Jersey and stuff over the there, along with uh, Queens, which I wasn't that impressed by, but I think we were on the wrong side of the Yeah. Really. So there we go. Empire oh, they're State now Global. renting down there, so if you want to... <laughs> you can see a lot. So I didn't get to find my perfect Arnie spot, but that's okay. Um, just again, being here was nice. We can uh, do another Tom Hanks spot. Oh yeah, if sleepless in we, Seattle, uh, of course. If we stand where the elevators stop. Yeah, ah, okay, so yeah. I don't know if that was even. I don't even know if that was filmed on the Empire State Building. It, sure it, it, it might have been on a stage. <laughs> I don't know. somewhere around here, I'm not quite sure. It's a guess. <laughs> so my guess is this area here. Arnold Schwarzenegger was standing. No, not Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jack Slater. Last action hero. Oh. Jack Slater sure and Danny really Madigan were standing, huh? Are you sure that was filmed here really? Yes, early? it was definitely up here because I, um, I got, like I said, I did the screenshots to find out exactly where it was so I could, you know, find the spot. But I got a feeling it's this side, but it might not be. So. And it should be a well known fact that, um, Last Action Hero is one of my favorite movies ever. Like, almost top 10 good.
reception in here. <laughs> uh, I like this blind thing. But you can actually I see can, the reflection. I know, that's why, that's why I put the camera up. Oh, okay. We're inside the, the, the observation area. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely blinding, the light. Uh, it really is cool. almost too good of a day to come. As long as you amuse yourself. Huh? As long as I amuse myself. Yeah. So, what do you think? It's pretty cool. It's boiling in here. It's like an oven room with a mirror oh, and the... So nice. I've been so frozen through. <laughs> so, do you think it was worth the money? Yeah, sure. It's one of those things you got to do, I guess, isn't it, really? Yeah. so awesome. It is. We really should get on the ferry tonight yeah. and see it at night, even though it's going to be freezing. Yeah, that, now that'll be cold. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're leaving now. Um, worth knowing we're on the 86th floor. You can go to the 102nd floor. Um, observatory extra is $17. Um, I think this is good enough. I think this is, you know, this is the main one everyone goes to, and um, I don't need to go up. Here. From what I've heard, yeah, from what I've heard, it's not, from what I've heard, it's not really that much more spectacular. So. Well, I think uh, it's indoors and it's without all the bars, so I think you can take better pictures. Yes, it's indoors. It's not. There's no open air area, so. Oh, it's a central limit or something. Looks like. Yeah, we're going down the extra few floors now, which shouldn't be as tiring as it was going up. State Building. Had a good time. Yeah. Good stuff. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And now we're gonna go and do I don't even know what. We'll see when we get there, but yeah. Thumbs up from me. Ah, oh, nice breeze. It was getting no. so hot. <laughs> no. See, I'm hot, Connie. Honey's cold. It's not a good sign. Whoa. Oh, there it is again, Chase. It's air. 